All right, so let's just go a accent delete everything from our scene and we are going to go shift a and go to mesh and bring in a UV sphere. We're just going to right click onto the sphere and then go shade smooth. And we also want this line set to be completely smooth. So just go control two like that. And now we can just hide away our UV sphere and just bring in a camera real quick. And just set up a scene for creating this ridiculously cool looking material and also animate it and do all of that uh, wild stuff so now we have our basic scene set up here so the real key here is to use the exact same light information that i'm using and meaning that you need to use the exact same HDRI that I'm using to get the exact same look. So if you want to have the exact same look, just go to polyhaven.com and download this HDRI for free. And you can set the resolution here to 16K and you can change this to HDR and then you can just click download. So now if we bring up timeline and change it into the shader editor and we change this from object to world we can just bring in an environment texture node to bring in our hdri so i'm just going to locate my folder here and bring in this hdri and connect the color into the color of the background and if i now change my mode into render mode this will take a little second to load. We now have our HDRI environment ready. And a nice little trick here when you're playing around with HDRIs is always to bring in our RGB curve node and just drop it here in between the environment node and the background node. Because then we can use the contrast and just uh, bring it in a little bit like that and that will give us a much more cleaner and crisper look so now if you go back into the object there select our um, UVs here and click on new we can start to get going on this uh, material so the first node that we are going to use to create this material is our mix color node and we're going to change this uh, color into now so we're going to change the mix into linear light and we are going to play around with the normals so just connect the result into the normal here and now if we bring the metallic up and the roughness all the way down we can see that we have some problems with the geometry and to fix this little glip we can just go shift a and bring in a geometry node and connect the normal here into the A like that. So that is great. So now the, um, we need two more nodes. So let's bring in a noise texture node and another noise texture node. And we're gonna change this first noise texture node into 1D. And this second one, we're gonna set to 4D like that. And if we connect the factor into the W and the factor of this nice texture into the B of the linear light, we're going to start to get some cool looking ripples. And from here, you can just play around the scale. So just find what you do you prefer. So I'm just going to go with um, something like that, I think. And we also want to have a little bit more detail. So let's connect the color of this noise texture into the base color of this principal BSDF that just will create some colors and some more like, uh, yeah, separation stuff into this material. Just makes it a little bit cooler. So now we want to be animating this material and we can do this in a perfect loop. But if you don't want to go that deep into the rabbit hole, we can, I'm just going to show you real quick what you can do instead. You can just go to the scaling here of this second noise texture and you can just go hash frame 
divided by say 500 like that and go enter and then you have a nice looking animation like that but if you want to make this into a perfect loopy way meaning that the first frame is going to be the exact same as the last frame so you can stack this video and uh, make it go forever and ever uh, to do that we yeah we can also loop the rotation so we can do the exact same thing that you saw in the intro so let's just bring in um, another window change it to the timeline select the object and then go to the first frame and uh, actually frame zero like that select the object and then just go k and rotation and then go to the last frame and then we're going to go r and c and 360 and enter and k and then rotation again and we're going to right click at the timeline and we're going to set this interpolation mode to linear so this interpolation mode is the speed uh, so we want that just to be in a linear and smooth way it's so linear and now if i play it we can see that this is now rotating in a nice really nice way but nothing is going on with the material so let's start off with doing that so to animate this material in a perfect loopy matter we're just going to bring out this noise texture to create some wiggle room here and select this noise texture go control t to bring in, bring in a texture coordinate and a mapping node and if you don't have this add-on here let's go edit preferences add-on type in node wrangler check this box here and also check the box for auto save so the first thing we're going to do is just to duplicate this little platform here and go shift D and bring this down like that. And now we can go shift A and bring in a mix node. We can just going to drop the mix node between these two noise textures. And we're going to bring the factor here into the B of this mix. And the key here is that these two nodes, this noise texture and this one, needs to have the exact same parameters for this to work. So you don't want to be messing around with these levels before you start uh, doing this loop effect. These levels need to be the exact same for this to work. So let's start off with setting the timeline, not to frame one, but to frame zero like that. We're going to bring the factor of this mix all the way down and then just go by and then we want to go to the last frame in the timeline and bring this all the way up to one and then just go by again so now we can go to this noise texture here let's go to frame zero and we're just going to go i select a node and then just go to the last frame and I just want to go with a nice and uh, smooth speed here so i'm just going to set this to 1.5 and then go i again now we can go down to this noise texture so select it go to frame zero like that and we're going to set this w to minus 1.5 go enter and then go i again and then we are going to go to the last frame we're going to set this to zero and then go i so now hopefully this will loop in a perfect manner so i'm just going to bring this blue line in like that and there you go so now you can see that the rotation is looping perfectly the material is looping perfectly and everything is loopity loopity perfect so that is the way you can uh, create this material and loop it and all of that stuff. Uh, if you learned something, I would really appreciate if you can subscribe. And uh, yeah, have a great day wherever you are and peace out.